ahead of our full multi-tester review of the Adi Zero Takumi Sen 8. Ryan joined uh, RTR editor Sam for a run and is going to compare all three of the Adi Zeros here. He has not run in the Adios um, Pro 2, but set his PRs of 109 and 227 this year in the Adios Pro 1 and is now testing the uh, Takumi Sen 8. So we're going to hear from Ryan. Road Trail Run contributor Ryan's going to give us some insights on Adidas's racing line here, at least three of the four. Go ahead, Ryan. All right, so here's the, the oldest of the three right here. We got the old Adios uh, Pro version one. Um, the big fat stack right here, 39 and a half at the back, 30 and a half at the front for a 10 millimeter drop. As we reviewed, we got a really rock solid cellar mesh upper here that just amazing, amazing foothold. Um, and such a stiff yet super bouncy ride. You can see the outsole here, I think they drew on their knowledge from some of the climbing shoes. It's just this really smooth but grippy thin layer of rubber. Um, uh, tell me how, how they've <clears> performed <throat> for you because uh, if I remember, you've done some pretty amazing things in this shoe. Yeah, these have been my go-to for marathons um, and any kind of long runs. I really, this is probably my favorite shoe in the whole arsenal right now. They're just so forgiving on the knees. Uh, yet so snappy and just amazing toe off and an amazing ride. So really, really hard for me to knock these shoes at all. Okay, what what do we have next? So the next one we tried out, uh, we got the Takumi 7.7 here. So the most noticeable thing on these shoes, you'll see just the tenacious, tenacious uh, set of lugs here, both at the front and at the back. It really kind of makes you think of this as almost like a cross country shoe. Uh, we got a Cellar Mesh 2 upper here. This is probably the best lockdown and the best foothold I've ever experienced in a shoe. It's just rock, rock solid. They're a little tricky to get on with the booty here, but uh, once they're on, you know, you're, you're ready to go and, and take turns and, uh, you know, any kind of nimble cornering. These Show things us really the handle. flex on those. So you got a little bit of a bend here. It's mostly up at the front, um, definitely more flexible than the other two shoes here. Um, and in the rear, this torsion plate here really stiffens things up and holds it together, but it really wants you to toe off and push off and, and dig into these lugs at the front here. So where have you run those, Ryan? I remember something special you ran in those guys. <laughs> I did, I actually did the uh, Track Smith FKT Challenge um, around the Charles River in Boston. Uh, I got beat by one guy, but I came in second. Um, it takes you over the Mass Ave Bridge and back over the Longfellow Bridge. And for cornering, crossing footpaths, uh, really hard switchbacks, these, these were definitely a great choice for that uh, three mile distance. Awesome. Now we got the newest one the in the bunch. The and greatest here. This is the Takumi, 7, uh, Takumi Sen 8. So it's supposed to be the follow-up to the 7, which I just showed you. However, if, even if you just take a quick look at it, you'll notice they really hardly share any genetics here. Um, I was inclined to at first think of this as a lighter version of the Adios Pro 1. But what about the stacks, though? Those However, two? <laughs> it turns out you can see just side-by-side side the stack heights are very, very different. And you can feel it when you're running. Um, these definitely aren't as forgiving. They have a lot more flex up at the toe here because I think the shoe really wants you to be up on your toe and, and pushing pushing off. Um, it's more designed for, I'd say, a 5K or a 10K, um, especially given its low stack height. You know, you can see the exposed energy rods here, whereas on the Adios Pro 1, it was much cleaner, uh, more mellow and more plush ride. We've got these cutouts here, which which make it a little bit more of a finicky shoe, but also saves a lot of weight. We're talking 6.8 ounces here for this one. Um, another great cellar mesh upper here. The lockdown is phenomenal. You know, a little finicky to get on, but once you get it, once you get it on and locked down, it's, it's fantastic. So similar on a lo lower stack height to the Adios Pro 2, really. Yes, mm -hmm. I'd agree with that. Yep, definitely. And no gusset tongue in this one mm -hmm. compared to our Takumi. To yeah, this one's sewn right in there, as you can see. Wow, so. Uh, right now, if you were going to go out and race a 5K, which one would you pick? For a 5K, I'd, I'd probably go with these. These are just super tenacious. they got great grip, uh, really snappy off the toe, and you probably don't need as big of a stack height as the, the Adios Pro 1 for a 5K. But having said that, I will say anything over 5K, um, this Adios Pro 1 is just such a favorite of mine. It's just so forgiving, so fast, and really not much different weight-wise than the other ones we're looking at here. Um, so this would probably be my, my go-to for any other kinds of races. And what about the, the seven then? The seven, if you're looking for something that has, for any kind of course, you know, shorter distance, obviously, you don't have nearly 
as as nice of a midsole, plush midsole here. And it's a regular light strike. This is regular, pro. Right, yeah, right. Yeah. This is this is the much others. firmer to the touch yeah. versus this light strike pro here is just so pillowy and energetic. This this really just means business. If you if you have any kinds of uh, grip considerations here, any kind of corners, um, this is your go-to shoe for those fast short races. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks very much. Hey, second day of 2022, and it's raining, Happy but we New had a Year. nice run. Happy New Year, everyone. Bye-bye.